In this video, you will learn how to perform basic maintenance on the Invitrogen Attune NXT Flow Cytometer with acoustic focusing technology. Performing routine preventative maintenance will ensure that your flow cytometer operates reliably and reproducibly. Detailed instructions can be found in the Attune NXT Acoustic Focusing Cytometer User Guide or the Attune NXT Acoustic Focusing Cytometer Maintenance and Troubleshooting Guide. Visual inspection, system startup, performance testing, and shutdown should be performed daily. Other maintenance functions should be executed as needed. Clean optical filters and mirrors each month. Clean all fluid bottles monthly, including bottles for the Attune NXT Auto Sampler. Execute a full system decontamination every three to six months or more frequently if needed. Replace both focusing fluid filters every three to six months following system decontamination. Remove old or dirty focusing fluid filters and replace with two clean focusing fluid filters. Always prime the fluidic system following filter replacement. Failure to prime fluidics may leave air in the system, causing problems. The sample syringe must be replaced twice per year. To replace the syringe, gently turn the metal thumb screw to loosen the syringe. Then, unscrew the syringe from the white valve by turning the metal connector counterclockwise. Carefully remove the old syringe and replace with new syringe. Insert the new syringe carefully. When the syringe is correctly screwed into the valve, tighten the thumb screw. Prime the fluidic system following syringe replacement. The SIP tube can be replaced if damaged or clogged. Unscrew the damaged SIP tube by turning the connector counterclockwise. Replace with a new SIP tube, rotating clockwise to tighten. After SIP tube replacement, perform a SIP sanitize and prime fluidics following SIP tube replacement. To learn more about the Invitrogen Attune NXT Flow Cytometer with acoustic focusing technology, visit www.thermofisher.com forward slash flow cytometry.